Welcome to week 1, day 6. Stand up for truth, Matthew 10, 16, 31. Jesus compared the disciples to sheep, a notoriously simple-minded creature, yet perfectly created to follow a shepherd that would keep them safe from harm. In moments of spiritual crisis or physical threat, we should follow the Good Shepherd's voice. But if we are honest, such moments often reveal the worst of our sheepish tendencies. Under attack, do we separate from the flock and self-isolate? Or do we vie for control over our lives, ignoring the commands of the shepherd? Do we become catatonic, stuck in a way of life, ignoring the problem even as it consumes us? In crisis moments, standing in the power of the Holy Spirit requires attunement and attachment to the Father. Like snakes, which react in milliseconds, our senses should be heightened to the kingdom reality around us. Like doves, we are to be innocent of a worldly mindset of self-interest and self-gain, formed instead by the love of our friend, Savior, and Shepherd Jesus. Jesus promised he would not leave us as orphans. Though he is ever-present, by God's grace, we often hear him more clearly in moments of persecution and testing. The outpouring of Holy Spirit wisdom blesses and convicts believers, governors and kings, and Gentiles alike. The truth drives out worry about what we will say or do in moments of crisis and instead empowers us to stand in the love and power of our Abba Father. We only have to slow down and listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd. Father God, our loving Shepherd, we know we cannot stand firm in truth unless we are formed by truth. We confess that we often allow our fears to drown out your voice. Reveal to us how we have gone astray. Grant us a kingdom mindset so we may perceive where you are moving and leading us today. Keep us free from self-interest. But, Holy Spirit, speak truth to us and through us so that those around us may also experience the same freeing power of your love and truth. Amen. By Sarah Manko. Sarah was born and raised a Buckeye in central Ohio. She attends the Crosswalk, Alliance, Church in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and is in her final year of dental school at OSU. She is excited to see where God will take her following graduation. Let's go deeper. Stand up for truth, Matthew 19, verses 16 to 31. Title, Courage Amidst Persecution, Embracing Divine Guidance. 1. Shrewdness and Innocence. Bible verse, Matthew 10, verse 16. Summary, Jesus advises his disciples to embody a balance of shrewdness and innocence as they navigate the challenges ahead. 2. Facing Persecution with Confidence. Bible verses, Matthew 10, verses 17 to 20. Summary. Despite the inevitability of persecution, disciples are encouraged not to fear, for the Spirit of the Father will guide them in their responses. 3. Endurance amidst betrayal and hatred. Bible verses, Matthew 10, verses 21 to 22. Summary. Jesus forewarns his disciples of betrayal and hatred, but promises salvation to those who stand firm in their faith. 4. Fearlessness through divine revelation. Bible verses, Matthew 10 verses 26 to 27. Summary, disciples are encouraged not to fear earthly threats, as all hidden truths will eventually be revealed by divine providence. 5. Divine care and worth. Bible verses, Matthew 10 verses 29 to 31. Summary, Jesus reassures his disciples of God's care, emphasizing their infinite worth in his eyes. Tomorrow, week 1, day 7. Rest in him Psalm 23.